Um, another one that we never quite figured out was um, bare knuckle gypsy fighting. <laughs> and we—I don't know if you ever saw a documentary called yes. Knuckle. Yes, you saw. I yes, mean, it's one of my it. favorite documentaries about Irish traveler families. And the feuds that go on between these families spanning generations is uh, the Joyce family and, a, yes. and another family, I can't remember the name. But, um, and the strange uh, dynamic, it's just really weird. Like the, weird. the, the family, they're very uh, traditional, they, they got no money, like very close to the soil kind of families. And um, they issue these like fight videos, like yes. just calling each other out into the fight, saying like, "You come and see me, and I'll tell you, you never insult me." I'm like, That's you're a bag of shite. Yeah, you're a bag of shite. You're always, you have no courage. Yeah, and they and they're very secretive. And we spent about three or four months trying to get into that world. I I always found it fascinating, and the code of honor, and the and the defending your name, and mm -hmm. the strangeness of. The rules whereby uh, there was all these this whole code of, of of rules about if you were called out you had to fight if they insulted your dad you had to fight and then the kids getting groomed into it very young, and and we could never build trust with the the families. But the guy who made Knuckle, do you remember how he gets in with the families? No, I don't. He shoot he gets invited to film one of their weddings. Ah. as a videographer and so he films the wedding and he's like this is really interesting these families they're wild they're kind of drinking and fighting and getting married and. And having done one wedding, he maybe does another wedding, and then he builds trust through through the access through the wedding videos. He parlays that into shooting the fight videos. And so, I mean, I'm, I was glad someone did it. You know, uh, it's really worth if listeners who haven't seen that we should should check out Knuckle. Yeah, it's a fascinating, fascinating documentary. And there's so many of those call out videos that are available now. They put them up on YouTube now to really embarrass. You know the person that they're calling out instead of just a video where you hand a cassette off to somebody else, like in the olden days. Now they put these videos up on YouTube, and they're they're damn hilarious. They're beautiful, amazing stuff. I don't does want that, them to stop. Does that exist in in the states in the in the same way, as far as you know? Well, I'm sure there's probably a few people that have called people out to fights over the a internet. Gypsy tr like traveler fights, gypsy fights. No, it's very different. It's very different. That's a uniquely European thing. It's uh, I, I love it. It's just the the language that they use. It's just so unique and unusual. It's just I also feel like that culture, the gypsy culture. It's it's probably a culture that's not going to be around too many more generations. It's very odd. Like people sometimes ask me what the strangest or the most difficult story I've ever done, and one of them was definitely uh, this gypsy one. And it wasn't for lack of um, a story being that the story was there. But we just couldn't figure out how to get to it. And, and and there was just no sense of you'd be having these conversations with the guy. You know, there was a guy who was um, very high up in the gypsy community and he had a number of sons and he was big in the fighting world. And he was he was just connected in various ways, uh, both legal and probably not legal. And and but you would have conversations with him and you just you couldn't figure out what what was real and what wasn't real. You say you put me tumbling, I blow on the gimp hair with three bits. Listen, I was drinking for three months with my uncle Claire. You got out of prison after doing three years. You bet you'll be off the date. But I got two months later when I was off the drink. Do you remember Bob the Honda steps when I hit the two steps? And I bent in the head when you went down your knees crying like a bitch. You said somebody else said it, you fucking scumbag. You sleeps in the streets of Cork and we're blankets. You talk about us, you kings and dust. You're a dead man. I'm gonna rip your throat off. No, I have to laugh. One hour, 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 Give me my dear man, give me my boy, you did. Get dirty, please, you're not a nag, 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 you're not a nag